Feeling some added pressure due to growing expectations and responsibilities is the nation's ambassador to Japan. Not only must Lee Suhun boost cooperation with that country on North Korea's nuclear threat, he'll have to deal with sensitive historical issues between Seoul and Tokyo. The new envoy vowed to pursue both goals while mending frayed ties. Connie Kim has the highlights from his press briefing. South Korea's new ambassador to Japan says North Korea, with its ongoing provocations, has boosted bilateral cooperation and frayed Seoul Tokyo relations and hopes to patch up ties during his term. North Korea's nuclear issue has fortunately become the middle ground where South Korea and Japan can cooperate. Through the crisis, high level Seoul Tokyo exchanges and communication have become active. I believe the whole situation in Northeast Asia is unstable, but at the same time, I trust that there's no room for bilateral ties between our two nations to worsen. Speaking to reporters, Lee Soo Hoon, a key advisor for President Moon Jae in since his election campaign, reaffirmed a two track approach on Tokyo during his tenure, working with Japan on North Korea issues while dealing with historic issues separately. The new ambassador also expressed hope that Japanese Emperor Akihito visits South Korea. The remark from the new envoy to Japan comes as there are growing speculations as South Korean lawmakers are pushing for the emperor's visit to Seoul in what would be a historic milestone moment that could improve the two countries' ties, which have backtracked with the so-called comfort women issue. The South Korean Blue House expressed anticipation that Lee's appointment would contribute to future-oriented relations between Seoul and Tokyo. Connie Kim, Arirang News.